Today I'm reviewing this guy, a 15 degree, 800 filled goose down sleeping bag for under $150. Hey everyone, it's David Wallman and I just got back from Europe doing a backpacking trip on the Tour de Mont Blanc, uh, which was 105 miles through France, Italy, Switzerland, and we stopped in Iceland along the way. But I'm not talking about that, I'm talking about the bag I took with me. This is a new bag to me, uh, just got it pretty much before the trip, this was really my first trip with it. Um, but I was looking specifically for um, all of my bags thus far have been synthetic, and this is my first down bag. And I wanted to start upgrading my bags to down um, because uh, they're compressible, the technology has come a long ways as far as hydrophobic downs, um, lighter, more compressible, a little bit more loft typically, etc. So I was looking for kind of a super budget, uh, cheap sleeping bag that would be... Uh, Decently warm because I wanted it to be kind of a three season bag for me um, Especially since I live in uh, Southern California currently um, And uh, I wanted it to be lightweight and compressible so in my searches I found this bag which is by hike and bike with a Y um, It is the Eolus 800 15 degree bag now 15 degree bag is maybe a little colder than what most people would think and they're like I could get away with 32 Maybe you can. I sleep really cold, um, so I kind of take everything with a grain of salt, and I always get colder than what I'm expecting. Um, but an 800 fill bag of goose down for a 15 degree bag for under $150, literally, because it's $149.99, um, is a good deal. In my researches, most bags that were around that price were either really poorly rated, um, or they were uh, duck down, or they weren't as high a fill power, or they were uh, 30 to 40 degree bags instead of 15. So to find this bag was kind of like, okay, either like I just found a jackpot basically, or this bag actually stinks in reality. Well, I got it figuring I could return it anyway. Um, and you know what, I've been pretty pleased with this bag and I would say you might wanna check it out if you're looking for a, um, a budget bag that you're not really trying to invest a ton in because you're gonna use it for kind of just summer backpacking stuff. I would check this bag out. Here's why. So first of all, like I said, it's 800 uh, goose down. Now, if you don't understand the differences between fill weight and fill power, uh, I did a video on that already. You can check that out. I'll post a link below in the description as well as at the end of the video. Um, but 800 goose down, not duck down, um, for that price is pretty good. Um, they don't say what the fill weight is on this bag, um, but I didn't have any issues with it and it seems decent. Not amazing, but decent considering. And I think 15 degrees is probably, probably an accurate um, rating. I haven't taken it that low. We maybe saw high 30s in Iceland um, and I was perfectly fine. Um, and again, when a sleeping bag says 15 degree bag, they're not talking about, hey, go take it to a 15 degree location, you're gonna be comfortable. Typically, that's like the lower limit is what they advertise on the bag because it sounds better for marketing reasons. Um, there's only a few brands that will actually put like their comfort limit as the bag name. Um, I I'm pretty sure Western Mountaineering does and I think maybe Feathered Friends. Um, two bags that I plan on looking at, higher quality names. Um, for my winter expedition one, I will be spending a lot more and probably getting one of those. Um, but this um, is cheap and way compressible. If you compare it to um, my other bag, my, um, what is it, Mountain Hardware, uh, Torch Lamina Z, or Lamina Z Torch, or however, um, it's, it's a fairly drastic difference. This one is synthetic, it is zero degree, so it's a little bit uh, lower, but this was my main backpacking bag. It's a lot heavier too. Um, and it would take up the whole compartment in the bottom of my uh, 70 liter backpack um, and be difficult to get in at that. 
this one I could share with the stove and mess kit um, and all sorts of stuff. It just kind of fit in nicely. I love that convenience. That was awesome. Um, let's take it out of the bag and look at a few other features. So this bag does have really good loft, so it compresses really well. And uh, I, you know, set it out five minutes before you uh, you're about to get in bed, uh, and it puffs up pretty quick. So I will say I'm very pleased with the loft on this bag. Uh, it comes in two colors. So there's this blue, neon, lime, green, yellow color. Um, and then there's a black and orange uh, color. Those are the only options for this, this one. Um, their 32 bag does have other colors. Um, I, I haven't used the 0 or 32 bag, so I'm just reviewing the 15. Um, I originally actually got the black and orange one, and this is this is kind of related to my con of why I don't like this bag. Um, the first one I got reeked. I mean, it, it just it stank to high heavens, and people who would walk by my room would be like, what died in your room? Well, what died is my sleeping bag, apparently. So in the shipping process, and this is their uh, explanation, and customer service handled it great, by the way. Don't, don't ignore them just because of this. It's uh, apparently kind of a, a rare situation, but in the packaging process, when they vacuum seal it, moisture gets trapped in there, and it starts to stink by the time the customer gets it. Apparently, they've only had a few of it, and they've sold thousands, millions, I don't know. They have lots of great reviews on Amazon. Don't disqualify them for this, but I will say even their second one, this guy, has a very strong nylon scent to it. Now it's not, I'm sure it's not the absolute highest quality of nylon, because uh, you'd be paying a premium for it. Um, I mean it is a 20D nylon with great DWR on it, but it does kind of stink a bit. Um, and so that's kind of the price I pay. And honestly, that's one of my only cons to this bag, um, is just that it kind of stinks. And it doesn't stink that bad, especially in comparison to the first. So you know what? I can live with it. Um, as far as pros to it, well, first of all, it's a narrow fit, which I am a slender, narrow guy. If you are 800 pounds, um, you probably won't fit in this bag. Um, so it is a very narrow fit. Even for me, it's pretty tight, which is good, because that's uh, better warmth-wise. So I'm okay with that. The zipper is decent. Uh, didn't have too many issues with it catching or snagging. It does have uh, drawstring and uh, shoulder uh, baffles. Uh, I will say on the drawstring, it didn't affect me, but some people it might. The drawstring has like no padding on it. So if you cinch it up really tight, you're gonna basically feel the little string directly on you. Um, I cinched it up fairly tight in Iceland, didn't have any issues. Plus if you're wearing a hoodie, you won't feel it. Um, I do like the fact that they're easily, um, they're easy to access, and I talked about that when I did my review on the Mountain Hardware bag, um, which by the way, if you haven't seen that, I'll link to that also at the end of the video or in the description. But I, I'm not a fan of elastic uh, drawstrings. Well, this is not elastic, so I enjoy that. Um, the Mountain Hardware bag is, though. Um, it has continuous baffles, but running lengthwise, not horizontally like most bags do. Um, so that's different design, not necessarily bad. You can't really shift it from top to bottom uh, like you can in other bags, but I guess you could shift from your feet to your torso. Um, not not a pro or con, just, just a statement. Uh, it does have the double zip, so if you like to stick your feet out at the end, uh, you can do that. Um, and... Yeah, that's it. It's it's a straightforward bag. There's no pockets, no fancy features or whatever. It's a sleeping bag for $150 filled with 800 goose down. That's basically it. My recommendation would be if you are looking for a budget bag for um, summer backpacking or maybe some three season backpacking depending on where you live um, and you're not too concerned about getting super high quality, uh, and you're just kind of like, hey, I want to spend something, uh, or I want to spend a small amount on something that I can sleep in each night, I would recommend checking this bag out. It's some of the cheapest I found, and I've been very pleased with both their customer service um, and also the bag itself. Uh, it does compress. It's two and a half pounds, um, and I'm pretty pleased with it. 
And with that being said, if you have any questions on it, feel free to drop a comment below. Uh, if you follow my channel, you know I love to answer comments and questions. Um, so feel free to ask them or contact me directly from my site. Um, please subscribe uh, as I keep putting out new videos. Uh, not only review stuff, I know that looks like it's all I do on this channel <laughs> so far, but I promise more stuff will be coming out. Um, so subscribe to that for uh, outdoor and photo uh, videos. And then... Um, yeah, ask away if you have any questions, and in the meantime, here is the hike and bike bag, and you have a good one.